Hello everyone and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. You already see what I have right here in front of me. It is the PYD Life Combo Mug Press that I received back in December. I already did an unboxing on it back then and now we are in January of 2023 and I am re-recording the tutorial for how to use this. And yes, I said re-recording because the first time I recorded a tutorial for this, I just could not in good faith show it to you. It was terrible. I did not do a good job and I do not want to have a reputation for doing a bad job. So I'm going to give it my what? Good old college try. And I'm going to demonstrate how to use the PYD Life Combo Mug Press. Now, at any time, if you are finding this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, I'm going to show you the materials that I use to sublimate these tumblers and this mug. I'm also going to show you all of the materials that you will need if you are interested in doing uh, using this combo mug press. Now, in addition to that, I am going to show you some of the other tumblers that I know will fit into this uh, PYD Life Combo Mug Press, but we will get into all of the logistics in, as we go further into the video. You ready? Let's get started. Some of the materials that I'm going to use that really don't have anything to do with the PYD Life Combo Mug Press include butcher paper. I'm going to use butcher paper to wrap around each of my sublimated images. I use a sub sublimation paper. This is the kind that I prefer. I am going to use a Cricut mat to place the tumblers down to let them cool off. I'm going to use heat resistant gloves to handle the tumblers. I use the Cricut brand of heat resistant tape. This is the kind that I prefer. I haven't ever gotten any of that residue that others get sometimes. The ink that I use is Hippo Sublimation Ink. I haven't had a need to use any other brand of ink. And I also wanted to show you some of the other PYD Life tumblers, even though I'm not using them in this tutorial. Now, the first time I recorded a tutorial with this exact mug press, I sublimated a 20 ounce glitter tumbler. This is a PYD Life glitter tumbler. I did this one, it did not come out well. You can clearly see the seam. I also sublimated this kid's sports water bottle. It came out really cute, but it was a part of the disaster in that tutorial. And I also sublimated a PYD Life mug. This is a, I think it's a, an 11 ounce mug. Um, in this tutorial, I will be using an, another PYD Life mug. I'm going to use another Kid Sports water bottle, and I'm going to use a 25 ounce glass water bottle. I know for a fact that this water bottle will also fit in this 30 ounce heater that comes with this combo mug press. I sublimated this one in the um, two in one mug press. I know this water bottle will fit in there nicely, and I also know that this uh, water bottle will fit in there nicely. In addition to these three that you see here, I know that this um, wine tumbler would also fit in there, and I know these make nice gifts for a bride or a bridal party because I know things happen. Okay, so these are other options that I will not be using, but I wanted you to be aware of that because PYD Life has a large collection and combination of multi um, multi sized tumblers, and so the possibilities for using this mug press are endless. I still do not have the PYD Life combo mug press powered on. I am going to take the lid from this sports water bottle. I'm going to remove everything that's inside so nothing is inside. And I am going to just check the pressure setting to make sure that it's not too much pressure and that it is kind of just right. Okay. So when I test this, I can see that it's not enough. So I'll just adjust it right here with this knob. I am going to turn it to the left first and see if that will tighten it up. Okay, 
going to keep adjusting this. I think I'm going to turn it to the right. I think turning it to the right is making it um, tighter. I'll speed this part up. Okay, I have my pressure adjusted properly for the mug on the right and the frosted glass kids tumbler on the left. Now I am going to get them wrapped and I will speed this part up. The important thing to note is that you want to make sure that your wrap is as even as possible. Um, I'm using the mug wrap, the 12 ounce mug wrap size from Cricut Design Space for these hearts. Okay, so remember I'm not gonna get into sizing too much because you're gonna measure yours when you get them. I'm gonna speed this part up. Okay, so now I have the PYD Life Combo Mug Press plugged in. I'm going to power it on and it's automatically going to go to the last temperature that it was, that it was used on and you can see that the counter is at four and five because I did sublimate those tumblers that I talked about in the intro. I am going to set this side, the right side, where I'm going to sublimate the mug at 356 degrees for 120 seconds. So I'm going to press set and it goes to 356. So I'm going to press set again and I need it to go to 120 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna press set again. And I am going to let this go ahead and heat up to 356 degrees. This side, I'm also going to set to 356 degrees for 120 seconds, but this frosted glass tumbler has to be pressed twice. So I'm going to set, I'm gonna set it to 356. This is in Fahrenheit, I'm gonna press set again. I'm going to go to 120 seconds. Press set. I'm gonna let it heat up to 356 degrees and you can see that both of the display units are on. Both of them are plugged in um, to the heater and so they will heat up inde independently of one another. And once this one reaches the desired temperature or whichever one reaches the desired temperature first, we'll start to get pressed first. So that is one of the benefits is that I can, as soon as one is finished, I can keep going with the other one and I don't have to stop one if they are both using these small heaters. In my opinion, they do heat up fast. It does not beep to let me know when it's reached the desired temperature. temperature. So this one is ready. I'm gonna just put the butcher paper around it I can see where the tape is I'm going to tape the I'm going to put it in the tumbler press with the tape side facing up first okay and I'm making sure it's in all the way and I'm going to go and close it all right and then I'm going to press clear and it will start to count down all right, so now the mug, the side for the mug is ready also. I just have one piece of butcher paper on, around it and I'm gonna make sure that the full design is being pressed or do my best to make sure the full design is being pressed. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna loosen it, it's a little bit too tight. Loosen it up a little bit. And I'm going to Oh, it's not at the temperature. I think it was at the 296. I think it was at 2, 356. Let me just make sure. Let me make sure it's going to 356. Set. Because I'm not sure why the temperature dropped. I'm going to let the temperature go back up to 356. Okay, it's back at 356. I'm going to try this again. Put the mug in, make sure it's in there snugly. And 
and I am going to press clear and it'll start to count down. You see my glass is almost finished. I am going to open this up and I am going to press clear and I am going to rotate this so that the other side is pressed. I'm not going to remove it, I'm just turning it around so that the tape, the seam is on the bottom. And I can see that it is. And it's looking really, really good. <laughs> I'm excited about that. I'm going to press clear. So it presses again for 120 seconds. Okay, I'm going to remove this one and let it cool down right here on the easy press mat. And I will continue taping up my water bottle. So if I had another one ready, another one of these, I know I could just pop it right in and be ready to go. I'm gonna let these two cool off. And I'm actually gonna turn this off and switch out these two small heaters for the 30 ounce heater so that I can sublimate my water bottle. I have the water bottle taped down as much as I'm going to tape it. Now I'm not going to completely wrap the butcher paper around it. I'm just going to cover it just enough to get it inserted once I switch out my heaters. It's important for me to note before I put the 30 ounce heater in that if I put the heater in in this direction and I plug in the connection over here, this is the power button I'll use. If I turn the heater this way and I plug it in on this side, I'll use this power button, okay? So it doesn't matter which one you use, but it's important to note that if I plug it in over here, I'm gonna use this power button. If I plug it in over here, I'm gonna use this power button. I'm gonna go ahead and get it connected, and I've decided that I'm going to use this power button on this side, which will be my left. I'm gonna speed this part up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power on. And in order to press that glass tumbler, I'm gonna change the settings to 356, 356 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to set the time for 140 seconds. I'm gonna press set, and I'm gonna press it twice. So I have my pressure settings adjusted correctly, and I'm gonna let it heat up to 356, and once it's ready, I will press it on 140 seconds twice for 356 degrees. Making sure that the seam is up so I can see it and I'm going to get it inserted. And I'm going to close it. Feels like it has good pressure. And I'm going to press clear and let it press. Okay, so I have pressed it on one side. Now I'm going to rotate it. I made sure to press with the seam up. So I'm just turning it to make sure the seam is down where the tape is. I'm gonna press it again. By pressing clear. Okay, it has finished um, the second rotation. Now I'm gonna remove the tumbler from here and I am going to put it over here so it can cool down. And I'm gonna make sure my 
tumbler press is turned off and I'm gonna get it out of the way. All right, I will start with this one first. It has completely cooled down and I'm just going to remove the tape. Now this will be the first time I've ever let anything cool down because typically I cannot wait. And um, But at this time I did, so gold star for Delonda. Let's see if this <laughs> seam is a gold star too. Let's see, let's see. Okay, not so good up there at the top, but I still love it. So let's see. Maybe I should have taped that part, but I don't know. It's still so cute. Look at that. Let me see what you can see. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. I still love it. I think I need to wipe that off right there. I can like feel, I'm not sure what that is, but I love it. I love it. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. So once I put the, let me show you what it'll look like once I put the straw in. So this one comes with a little straw. Oh my goodness. Look how cute. Look how cute. That is just so cute. I would love that. Now I do need to get a paper towel or something, maybe alcohol and wipe that, but I love this. Hopefully you can see it very well. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's look at the mug. See if I did any better with the mug. And I guess, you know, you live and you learn. Hopefully you can see see it it's hard for me to see my camera angle and I have not perfected that either you guys pretty much basically I haven't perfected anything okay oh <laughs> look look how cute this is I was wondering if the hearts would really show up and they did look at that this is so pretty. Look, little Valentine's mug. Look, I love it. Okay, so now I know this has not cooled down yet, but I am still going to go ahead and put my gloves on. And we are going to do what? Peel it and reveal it. We are going to peel it and reveal it. I did not add any tape to the bottom and I didn't add any to the top either. But I did a good job with my seam. Small wins, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look, look. Oh, I should have taped it up there, but I still love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It kind of it kind of looks like it's like fading off into the sunset. I'll take that. I love it. Look, it says I can't adult today. Tomorrow isn't looking good either. Okay, so I did a decent job. I still love it. I love it. Let me get the lid so you can see it. And that is that. Okay, so now let me give you my final thoughts about the PYD Life Combo Mug Press. Okay, let me give you my final thoughts about the PYD Life Combo Mug Press and tell you the things that I love about it. There are several. Number one, of course, you know I'm going to say I love the color. I think this is a good fit with the other tumbler presses and heat presses that are already in my craft room. Might not be the case for you, but it is for me. I will also say that it, I love the fact that it has portability. So I don't have to keep it right here on this table in my craft room. When I'm finished using this, I can pick it up and put it right back over there on the other side of my craft room. Three. I love the fact that I can sublimate two different 
tumblers or mugs at the same time and I don't have to wait for one to finish in order to start the other one and I don't have to do them at the same time and the same temperature in order to sublimate two at a time. I love that. That's actually an added benefit over the Cricut Mug Press, which you know I love. I love the fact that I was able to sublimate a mug and a frosted glass tumbler at the same time that had the same temperature but two different time settings and I didn't have to wait. I love that. I love the fact that I can also sublimate a tumbler in the same exact machine and I don't have to have an additional machine in order to do that. So these are three different size products and I was able to put them all in here and use them um, seamlessly in my opinion. Um, I love the fact that in comparison to the sublimation oven because you might say, well, Delonda, you love the sublimation oven. I do, I do love the sublimation oven. What I want you to know about this that's different than the sublimation oven is that these three items are three different sizes with three different time and temperature settings. If I wanted to sublimate all three of these in the oven, I could not do them at the same time because they have different temperature settings and different time, well, they have the same temperature settings, but different time settings. So I would not want to do that. If I wanted to use the sublimation oven, the benefit of that, of course, is I could sublimate three mugs at a time or three tumblers at a time that are all the exact same time and temperature. So this has an added benefit over that. If you don't already have a mug press, I think this is a viable option because like you see, I was able to do different tumblers at one time and I showed you some of the other options that PYD Life has to offer in terms of tumblers. Um, there isn't really anything that I don't like about it. I felt like it was easy to switch out the heaters. This comes with three different size heaters. I know you could purchase additional heaters if you're interested in doing that. I love the fact that these two um, power, uh, the two sides of the tumbler press work at, you know, independently of one another. I love that. And just like any other heat press that I have in my craft room, I only have one plugged in and in use at a time. So even if I were using my big heat press, I would only be using that one heat press at a time. Okay. Please feel free to leave me any questions you have, anything that I did not uh, review with you during the, the time that I showed how to use this. But if you found this tutorial helpful in any way, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.